Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial Jedi Master, and I'm super excited to be here today. In this video, I am sharing with you how to set up a Verge wallet. So I'll go ahead and jump right into it. The first step here is to find the correct domain name. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Google for this and search coinmarketcap.com and I'm gonna scroll down until I find the Verge project so I'm gonna scroll down until I see it which is right here I'm gonna go ahead and click that and I'm gonna scroll down again and click on this website right here which will direct us to vergecurrency.com so this is the website vergecurrency.com Feel free to search it if you want by typing in vergecurrency.com and just triple check to make sure you didn't spell it wrong and make sure it's connected to an HTTPS website and verify it's a secure website by making sure it has a green padlock right here. So it does. So this is a good website. And the second way to find the Verge website is by going to their Twitter profile. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. If you go back to CoinMarketCap under Verge, if you scroll down, one of the options here says social. So you could go ahead and click that and then scroll down again. And this time you'll be able to see their Twitter profile, which is Verge Currency. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. As you can see on the screen, they have 306,000 followers. So that's a great amount of followers. And if you look at the link that they promote in their bio, it's also vergecurrency.com. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And as you can see, it takes us back to the same website. So great, I'm gonna exit out of this for now. I'll exit out of Twitter and I'll exit out of CoinMarketCap. And this leads us to step number two, which is to choose the correct wallet. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. And it's pretty simple. We're gonna click this blue button right here, which says OSX Tor QT Wallet. So go ahead and do that. And it's starting to download here. And it says it's gonna take about 45 seconds to download. So I'll go ahead and let that download. You could go ahead and pause the video here and then continue playing it once it's done downloading for you. And while that's downloading, I do wanna point out that this wallet that we're downloading right now, which is called the Tor QT wallet, is the core wallet to store your Verge currency with. And this wallet is also being developed and maintained by the core Verge development team. So I would say it's a good wallet to use. And the third step here is to download the wallet so the way you do that, if you're a Mac user, go ahead and click this blue button right here. However, if you're using a Windows or a Linux, you're gonna wanna click on wallets on the top here and I'll create a new page. And once you click wallets, you're gonna wanna scroll down until it shows you all the options to download. So if you're using a Windows, you would click this button right here, which is the Windows Tor QT wallet. Or if you're using a Linux, you would go ahead and click the Linux option here. So great. It looks like it's done downloading. So we're gonna move on to step number four, which is to install the wallet. And all you have to do is click this button on the bottom left here, which is you clicking the download. And it's gonna start opening up here. And it's saying that there's an icon right here. What I'm gonna do is double click on it. And it's saying that Verge can't be open because it is from an unidentified developer. I am gonna click okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this to my homepage and I will exit out of this. What I'm gonna do now is Go to my finder, go to desktop, and then go to Verge here. I'm going to right click and then click open. 
and it's saying Verge is from an unidentified developer. Are you sure you wanna open it? However, now it's giving us the chance to click open. So we're gonna click open there. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this and come back to that. And here's the Verge wallet. And it looks pretty sleek. I like how it looks. Uh, it looks like a typical wallet. On the home page here, it says the balance and recent transactions. So there's nothing here. There's a send button under the home button. So I could put a Verge address here. I could put a label and the amount of Verge I wanna send. There's even a donate button here. I can choose from my address book and I can choose the amount I want to send, 25, 50, or 100%. I can add a recipient here on the bottom, and I could click send on the right, or click clear all. So I could put a new address here for receiving payments. You know, I could send this out to like employers or just people who pay me or gift me Verge. And on the very bottom here, there's a block explorer and you could put in transaction ID and there you go. So those are the buttons on this Verge wallet. If you look on the very bottom here, it says that it's still syncing up with the network and it may take you know quite some time to do. Who knows, it depends on your computer. In this video, I am not talking about how to send, receive, backup, protect, or even update the wallet. In this video, I am just showing you how to download and install it. And I even wanted to show you around a little bit and show you what the user interface looks like. And there's one more step that I wanted to show you, which is to verify that you could open and close the wallet. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. What I'm gonna do is drag my screen recorder to the top left and then click on Verge Wallet here. On the top left, it says Verge. I'm going to click Quit Verge here, and it disappears. The additional way to verify that you've closed the wallet is to go to your Finder and then check the apps that are connected to your devices. And as you can see here, it says that this release here, which is the Verge, which is the Verge wallet, is connected. So I'm going to go ahead and click this Eject button and get rid of that. So that tells me it's officially gone. What I'm gonna do to reopen it is go to desktop under my finder and then go to Verge. So what I'm gonna do is right click it and then click open and then exit out of that. And here it is once more, the Verge wallet. So perfect. In this video, you successfully downloaded and installed the wallet. Stay tuned for my future videos on how to send, receive, back up, protect, and even update the wallet. And that actually concludes my video. If you like watching blockchain tutorials like this, get the cryptocurrency investing blueprint. You could learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint and get 10% off using my promo code Denny2018. That's spelled D-E-N-N-I 2018. You could also follow us on Twitter. You could find my handle at Denny Lovejoy and thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos or tutorials, leave me a message on Twitter. Thanks again, and I'll be seeing you on the next blockchain tutorial.